In the late summer, we like to prune the orchard and harvest the fruit. Some of our trees ripen much earlier or much later, but we can tend to most of them at this time of year. Pruning in the winter encourages the tree to focus its energy on branching out, making new sprouts. If the tree could use new branches, winter is the time. So I'm actually asking the tree to make more shoots of this branch when I cut it in the winter. Pruning in the summer, on the other hand, sends the energy into fruiting. If the tree already has plenty of good strong branches, I might not prune much in the winter and instead wait till about now to shorten up any branches to strengthen them. With apples and pears, this sends them a signal to make more fruit spurs. I like to cut just above a fruiting spur or the top leaf of a group of at least five, choosing one that faces in a good direction to keep the tree open, branches spaced airily. With cherries and plums, pruning in summer avoids diseases that can get in during the wet season. Pruning now also won't cause a great deal of growth. Summer pruning yields a harvest of the water sprouts that winter pruning has triggered any shoot that won't be wanted as a future branch is nipped off. We aim to move the ladder around each tree just once each summer. Leafy greens are a delicacy if you're a goat, and their milk grows rich from a diet of orchard prunings. Then, when we make cheese from their milk, the whey that separates can be fed to the ducks and hens, or diluted with water 10 to 1 and sprayed on the trees and the grasses as a sort of probiotic.
This is the season to walk down to the orchard, pick apples, and bring the trugs and ladder, sure, but also the barrows. Secateurs, alcohol spray, and an old toothbrush. One of us will bring the goats on their leads to tether them to this spot or that. Then we work, not only picking the apples, but while the ladder is in place, summer pruning. The green leaves can pile in the barrel till they go to the goats. The goats snuffle up falling leaves, greener grasses, blackberry along the edge of the thicket that would like to take over the orchard. The ducks rush up for windfalls, the hens rummage for bugs, the geese clamour for an apple to be tossed. If we've made the time to read or nap in the orchard with snoozing ducks and loafing goats, that's the best kind of efficiency there is. <laughs>